My name is Pete Knudsen. Uh, I'm a doctor of anthropology here at Seattle Central. And I'm kind of a generalist, you know, I do biological anthropology and I do cultural stuff and I do courses on anarchism and uh, food. Uh, well, I think on April 16th, basically the pot is going to boil over. Uh, it's been, a lot of us have, have watched the uh, cannibalizing of this institution for the last 15 years, destroying whole departments, destroying film and video, destro destro destroying interpreter training, um, you know, taking away the right of students to vote for their student government, taking away the right of faculty to uh, address other faculty on the email, just all kinds of constriction, which has really been the history of, the history of, of Seattle Central was always about free exp expression, free speech, um, cultural mixing. Um, these are all great legacies of this place and we're watching this being systematically destroyed Big part of it is uh, the lack of uh, the lack of funding for faculty and staff. You know that uh, they don't pay a living wage. Even full-time faculty like myself are working two jobs. Um, you know, and it's even worse for adjunct faculty. Um, and it seems like nobody gives a shit. I mean, it's just uh, the legislature. They just go down and do their thing, um, and then we get these directives from on high. Uh, about how we're supposed to reorganize our course, guided pathways, things like that. Nobody talks about the things that we should be doing that we aren't doing. Um, you know, teaching citizenship, political activism, uh, talking about values, inspiring students. These are all the things that this place historically has been about and has produced incredible uh, people that have gone on to do great things. But we can't do any of that without money, and they're stripping the money out, and, and then they're, re, they're reshaping the school as if it's some giant corporation, and we're supposed to treat students like customers, uh, and uh, everything's corporate speak. Nobody's thinking about the fact that school should be about emancipating people. It should be about giving people tools to defend themselves and to defend their communities. But instead, all, we're to, all we talk about is we have to prepare a labor-ready workforce. You know, now, and that's great. I mean, I, I think I want people who are trained in welding, trained in HVAC, trained in the applied things. I mean, that's how I grew up. Uh, but at the same time, what about, what about the higher mission of this place, you know? I mean, what, what is our culture like if we're not talking about uh, freedom, if we're not talking about um, transculturation, about dynamic cultural things? Uh, you know, these are not things that you can quantify, and we're being, as faculty, pushed to quantify everything. I'm ranging pretty wide here in terms of the question about what this walkout is about. And maybe I'm ranging widely because there's just like a deep sense of enormous frustration at the fact we've got lack of democracy here. Um, you know, it's just uh, human beings are not meant to operate as interchangeable parts, as machines. We are, uh, we are reciprocal human beings and we have values and we should be talking about these values and we should be, we should be supporting that. Um, and we should be, uh, you know, as in many parts of the world where they consider teaching to be a high calling, here, here it seems like we're just considered to be uh, obstacles in the way of Amazon or, uh, you know, some kind of Basically, it's a bunch of wealthy families that own corporations that are calling the shots for our school, whether it's the Gates Foundation or Amazon. Um, and, and then you have administrators that are running it that aren't thinking about 
the things that Paolo Freire or Bell Hooks or any of the radical educational theorists talk about, that learning is about emancipation. It's about inspiration. Um, and so we're walking out because we're tired, we're tired of uh, taking it. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like Frederick Douglass said, power never concedes anything without a demand. And so we need to start demanding uh, humanistic values in our culture. And maybe this is just the beginning. I think it's just the beginning. I think people are fed up. Uh, people are just kind of throwing their hands up like, you know, this is absurd. What, the direction the society is going, the direction the school is going is absurd. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's a first step. You know, it's a protest. Um, you know, it's uh, saying um, enough's enough. We got to turn this thing around. Uh, I'm just another mouth. <laughs> I'm just a goddamn mouth, man. I'll shoot my mouth off. Um, it's the mouth that always gets me in trouble, but that's okay. Uh, I get paid to be a mouth. So, yeah, I'll just be out there talking. Um, and, and showing solidarity, you know, that's one thing our society, our, our society suppresses solidarity. Our society encourages people to compete. Our society encourages people to feel good when somebody else fucks up. Um, and, uh, and the opposite, the antidote to that toxic individualism is solidarity. And so we're going to be out there saying, yeah, we're, we're on the same page. And, you know, once you start getting some people together, you start making change. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's... Uh, so I don't have any particular role other than just who I am. Uh, talk it up. Uh, you know, bring out your frustrations. You know, bring out the fact that that our class schedule just got hammered, that you can't find the classes you want, uh, that your classes got canceled at the last minute, that you can't get that course you need to to do your occupational therapy, or you or you know you need that course for the UW, and somehow a bean counter took it away from you. You know, so you you gotta you gotta like tie in your own issues, the problems that you've had with the educational process, and bring it to the table. You know, I, I'm sure there'll be open mics to talk about it, or just, uh, just come and, and talk. Uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll get some broader coverage in the community and the media that's hopefully what will happen um, hopefully it will uh, begin to create a sense of solidarity among the faculty and students here um, which hopefully will lead to further actions I see this as just like the first shot um, there's going to have to be a lot more I mean we're seeing this all across the country um, as teachers are just fed up with being scapegoated, with being underpaid, and they walk out and raise hell. And that's what has to happen here. People, you know, uh, we're gonna have to raise hell uh, to turn this thing around, to bring pressure on, on the uh, institutions of the state. So uh, you can't predict where that's gonna go, but that's, that's, if you don't do it, if you don't do something, you know that nothing's gonna change. I mean, of course, we're trying to, like, uh, tell the legislators down in Olympia that, damn it, you know, we're educating 60% of the students' undergraduates, and you're giving us a fraction of the funding, you know? You give the UW twice the funding per student that we get, um, you know, this has got to change. You know, you can't expect faculty to live without cost of living increases. You know, our salaries are, like, a third below national averages. Uh, you know, K through 12 is paid much better than community college. Uh, and yet at the same time, 
you know, we're told, oh, we've got all these new programs now. We've got guided pathways. We've got the Promise Scholarship. And uh, that all sounds great in the media, but, but uh, let's have some dollars to support faculty on this thing. I've invested a lot of my life at Seattle Central, and I feel very proud of the history of this institution, and I will not allow this place to lose its identity and become just another faceless appendage serving corporations. That's very powerful. Thank you. <laughs>